This is the next video in my series on Adobe Captivate 2019 Update 2, version 11.5. Today we're going to talk about the Update Missing Fonts dialog that some of you have started to see when opening older projects or projects that have been sent to you from a colleague. If you don't have the same fonts that you may have had, say, six months, a year ago, or the same fonts that your colleagues have, you might see this update missing fonts dialog here. So in this project, I used several different fonts, in this case, the Anton font and the Montserrat font, which are both available from Adobe fonts, formerly known as Typekit. I have two choices that I can make when looking at this screen here. I can choose to close, where it will simply apply to Homa to all of these uh, these different font choices. To Homa is the default Captivate font. Or I can make new choices and select different choices and replace those fonts. In this case here, I'm not going to save this. I want to go and find those fonts. So I'm going to choose Close, which will apply to Homa. And then I'm simply going to close this project but being careful not to save those changes because, of course, I need those original font references. So I'm going to close the project down and minimize this. Head over to fonts.adobe.com. Do a search for those particular fonts that are missing. There it is. So I can activate that font. Click OK. The other font was Montserrat. And like before, I'll activate this font with my account. And I can go ahead and return to Adobe Captivate, but you might want to wait a minute or two to allow the server to synchronize your font choices. Because if you open that same project too soon, you'll have the same problem as before. It wouldn't have had time to update your fonts to include those two new fonts. So I'm just going to wait a moment and we'll see what happens when I try to load it again. So I think enough time has probably passed here. I'm going to select that older project and click Open. And there we are. We have uh, the appropriate font selected. So I have Anton up here in the title and Montserrat uh, just about everywhere else here. But let's say, for example, you know, six months have gone by, a year has gone by, and maybe these font choices are no longer what we're using. You could, in theory, select all the objects individually and then change it from your properties panel to a new font of your choosing. Alternatively, you could have also gone into the Edit drop-down menu and down to your Object Style Manager. And if you've used Object Styles when designing your course, you can apply those new fonts quite easily. But now there's even a better option from the themes icon in your toolbar. You can select theme properties. And what's now included is the ability to see all of the fonts that are being chosen for this particular project. So I can go ahead and click on edit. And we'll see, of course, our font choices here. So let's say, for example, in this case, we're no longer using Montserrat, but instead we'd like to use Open Sans. So I can go in and find that particular font and substitute it in all the cases where it's being used and then save and apply. And what will happen is this will update to Open Sans. All of the objects here are now Open Sans. And I can continue to work on this project and publish it, save it, whatever I need to do. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.